Hey guys, welcome back to the Bayside Fabrication YouTube channel. I appreciate you checking in. I'm glad to see you. I know I've been away for a little while, but I just haven't had too much time to mess around with a car and do stuff like that. I've been really busy. I got a seven month old and a three year old, so my hands are full and I'm just trying to make money and you know keep that train going. But I have a cool new product I wanna show you guys today. And that is the TRW Electric Power Steering Pump. Now, I offer complete kit to install this onto your Porsche 996 and 997 setups. So uh, you see how the beauty cover is removed just so I can show you where everything is. Um, the pump mounts right here. It's in a great spot. It's out of the way. It still gives you access to your frunk. Uh, most guys are not going to have a uh, surge tank here, but I do. So just imagine that not there. Nice, nice clean setup. Uh, it uses the uh, stock. I have all these fuel lines going through, but it uses a stock um, uh, bulkhead there and goes through, hard wires right to the battery. And then all you need to wire is two uh, trigger wires to get the pump going. So I'll fire up the pump and everything. You can hear how loud it is and all that. Um, I got about 150 miles on this setup so far and it works beautiful. Um, so I use all PTFE uh, uh, braided line. I got two bulkhead fittings. So you have to drill two holes right there, two five-eighths holes. And then underneath, if you can see, they just pop right through. You kind of snake them behind the coolant lines, and they go right into the rack. You're not going to be able to see the rack in this angle, but it's there. Um, so the high-pressure line on the rack I have is the lower hose, and the low-pressure return line is the higher hose. And you really can't mess it up because the low pressure and the high pressure are two different fittings on the rack. So it really just, uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. So, uh, and the rack fittings, I'll show you, they just push right in. So you'll get your O-rings on these little grooves. This is the high pressure line, as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is a slightly smaller diameter. So this is your high pressure side, your low pressure side, and I have all the lines built and ready to go. Um, so all you got to do is drill two holes, get your bracket mounted, and away you go. So this is the 996 and 997 bracket I have right here. So it's just a CNC cut bracket. It has this little, um, little clamp I made. So effectively, it clamps, it, clamps itself to the chassis at that, uh, that chassis point. And then you just drill a little quarter-inch hole, through-bolt it to the... To the firewall there and it's good and so that's that's the mount for the 996 997 chassis so as far as getting the pump going um you know all, all the hoses are pre-built and ready to roll you just hook up your return hose which is right here your low pressure hose just slides around this fitting hose clamps and then your high pressure which is this 120 uh, degree bend just ties into here and then you're all set. As far as wiring is concerned, it's all pre-done. We have a 60 amp um, fused uh, power that goes right to the battery terminal. We have the ground that goes to the ground side of the battery terminal or a chassis ground, whichever you prefer, but it's so close to the battery as you can uh, see in the car that it doesn't really matter. And then we have two wires uh, right here. So the uh, black wire here is the 12 volt ignition wire. And uh, you can wire this up two different ways. So one way is you can use this 12 volt. So this will be get 12 volts when the ignition is turned on. And then once you want the pump to turn on, your blue and white wire will actually turn the pump on and it will be immediate. And I'll, uh, I'll fire it up for you um, with a battery just so you can sh see exactly what I'm talking about. But that's how that works. Or you could wire them both together so they get a 12 volt signal when you turn the key on or whenever you decide and it will slowly spool the pump up. Now, I have it done that way. That way it's a little less draw when you initially turn the car on. And like I said, I'll show you how it spools up slowly until it reaches its optimal pressure. 
and then comes back down. But I have mine just uh, wired right to my fuel pump uh, signal. So once the fuel pump turns on, it gives a signal to the power steering pump to turn on. So that's just how I have it wired. It's pretty easy. If you want, you can wire it to your factory fuel pump, which is underneath your battery here. And uh, that's another option to go to. Or you could wire it up to your alternator signal uh, into your ignition. So you can only, so if you have it done to your alternator signal, it will just, um, it'll fire up whenever your engine's running. So it won't, if you have your ignition in the on position, your power steering pump's not gonna be running. So there's a multiple ways you can do it. Um, and I'm kind of leaving that up to you guys, however you want to decide to have it run. Uh, for me, it's just a little less, you know, a little less draw in the system when it slowly spools up like that. So uh, I also have, uh, this pump can be used for any car. So forget the Porsche specific stuff and all these hoses for a minute. You can just run this pump and I make a side universal side mount bracket. So if you have a drift car, um, whatever, uh, you can run this, you know, it'll bolt to any, any flat surface like that, like a firewall or anything. And I also make, and I'll show a picture of it right now, a bottom mount. So the bottom mount um can mount to any bottom surface you know floor or anything like that i actually just sold my last bottom mount that i had uh already built and i need to make another batch of like three or four of them but uh for now you know you can just see the side mount and then the bottom mount so i can sell just this and a universal bracket and you can figure out building your own hoses and stuff which is uh, not terribly difficult and you can mount this on any car in any application and get rid of your uh your power steering um, in my case, let me show you. So in my case, I was able to eliminate my big power steering pump that was right here. And it just gives you so much more room. It eliminates all the lines and everything. And um, going from here to the, to, the, to the steering rack, and it just cleans everything up really nice. So I was able to delete my power steering, mechanical power steering pump, keep my AC and everything else um, in this setup. So that works out really well. Now, this is the exact same power steering pump that is used in the uh, Porsche GT3 Cup cars, 996, 997 Cup cars. So that's why I chose this pump. It's a high performance pump. Obviously, if Porsche used it um, in, on their factory race cars, it's gotta be a quality unit. Now, this pump was also um, offered in a couple uh, European cars. Uh, Opel Astras, uh, to be, for example, is the main one they're in. It's an identical pump. So it makes it nice because they're actually a relatively affordable pump. And these pumps I get all from uh, Europe. So these are all remanufactured pumps. They take them all apart, uh, blast um, and clean up media blast the aluminum here. They take off, reseal the whole thing, um, whatever they have to do uh, for electrical components, put them all back together and then uh, sell them as you know new refurbished units. Uh, I was able to buy seven of these and uh, my European contact has 50 plus in stock. So uh, there's no shortage of getting these. I can get them within, you know, about seven business days too. So right, like I said, right now I have seven in stock. I'm gonna, you know, run low on these. Once I have two or three left, I'm gonna just order another 10 and then go from there. But uh, yeah, this is what we have for the kit right now. So it's really a simple uh, matter of just drilling two 5 8 holes for the bulkhead one hole for the bracket and everything else is bolt on uh, and ready to go. So let me get this thing fired up and I'll show you uh, how loud it is and how it operates. All right, so I just have my little power probe here and I just disconnected it from the, um, the battery. So like I said, I have both uh, signal wires um, wired to each other. So you'll hear it slowly spool up. So you can see it slowly uh, climbing to the operating uh, RPM. And there it goes. So it reaches the uh, highest RPM, kind of regulates itself down, and now this is the operating, uh, operating RPM of the pump. Like I said, this is just one way to wire it. It takes a little time to spool up, but my thought is in this application, 
you know, it's a little less uh, immediate amperage draw on, on everything. So, and it's not like the second I start my car, uh, I'm going to be taking off and going nuts with it. So, um, you know, I usually start the car and then, you know, after five, 10 seconds, going to be driving and then, you know, it's fully up to operating, uh, operating potential. But I'll show you the other way to wire it where it will, uh, so now I'll show you the other way on the bench, on the one on the bench, how to wire it, where it will immediately, um, immediately fire off. So let's do that. All right. Now I'm just gonna fire this up with uh, the two trigger wires separate. So one is, you know, currently has 12 volts. The other one is getting 12 volts right now. So you can see it immediately fired off and slowly spools down. So that's just the difference between the two. This one's gonna have a slow spool down because there's no um, there's no fluid in it, obviously. But you can just see one took a little while to spool up. The other one fires off immediately. But just two different ways of wiring it. It both functions the same. Both gets up to speed, uh, gets up to full speed. So that's that. All right, guys. So that's kind of it. Um, I just want to show you what I'm offering now. Uh, my complete 996-997 kit is $850 uh, plus shipping, and that gets you everything to bolt it into your car, all fittings and everything. Just all you have to do is source two wires that you want to uh, trigger the pump. And then uh, my other option here is the universal pump, which is more or less just this is what you get. You get the wiring, the fuse wiring, you get your uh, 6AN adapter, and your either bottom mount or your side mount bracket, and then you can uh, mount it wherever you want, and you're just responsible for making a low pressure and a high pressure line. So I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, reach out to uh, Bayside Fabrication, um, and you can uh, feel free to email me, and we will uh, we can get the ball rolling on one of these if it's something you're interested in. So thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.